Have you ever had to go to therapy together? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not all rosy, guys. <laughs> My dry scalp, for example, like, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but it used to get so itchy that I, like, scratch my scalp to yeah. like scabs and it was just so oh, embarrassing dang. and like talking about like the mental health aspect of it not even the vanity aspect of it but like when you're suffering with something like that it becomes your whole world if you think about when you shower it's this cleansing experience you really don't want to say brown black sludge just no, going from your really. shower to your toilet yeah. and be like yeah cool let's go shower in that we realized that the water we were showering in was making these things worse yeah. And that's where VitaClean was like, okay, we need to share this with people. We need to raise awareness about this because nobody was talking about shower filters. Yeah. Nobody. The big silence, empowering personal experiences, inspiring compassion, and healing lives. We are no longer silent. We are here. The big silence. The big silence. Ladies, welcome to the Big Silence Podcast. Thank so you. So lovely to have you here. You too. You're such an inspiration. Oh. I mean, tone it up. New York's bestseller. It's just the list goes on. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, what you've done is incredible too. And I've been deep diving into both of you and your stories. And before we even get to that, I just want you to know that Bobby, my husband, saw your package on our kitchen counter. <laughs> And he's like, VitaClean? And he was so excited because he loves VitaClean. I did not know of it yet. But Bobby's like, oh my gosh, when we rent one of our Airbnbs downtown, we had a long-term tenant and he switched all of the showers to VitaClean. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so we've been using VitaClean down there now. And he wanted to be here today because he's a huge fan. Aww. But shout out, Bobby. Oh, Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. That's We're a big fan. fan of you, too. <laughs> I love when, like, men get excited about it. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite part. We have an jo ongoing joke because all the wives, partners, or female female partners usually buy it, but then all the husbands love it. <laughs> the reviews are always like, my husband's obsessed with this. My husband loves this. We yeah. had, a we had like, an Instagram comment the other day that was, it was like, oh, my husband loves VitaClean so much. We had a dinner party and he, like, took all the guests to show the, show them the shower, like, at the dinner party. <laughs> that would be Bobby because it's a thing we <laughs> yeah. call Bobby baths. He can be in the shower in the bath for, like, three hours. He oh, wow. has all of these oils and soaks and all the things. So. Amazing. I was mean, he, was that's, he like, the mental health aspect of it. Yeah, right? exactly. It's just, like that soothing, refreshing, rinsing, all of that mm -hmm. stress and anxiety away and just feeling refreshed. Yeah, I love that. And that is, you know, having you here on The Big Silence and we talk about mental health and taking care of yourself. And we'll dive into what VitaClean does to that because we can all say like, if you feel good, look good, you know, <laughs> it all goes together. But I want to hear your stories because I, I feel like you two are very similar to the Tone It Up. Like you met in hot yoga? Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> we met, well, it was a funny story. So we actually met um, at a dinner mm -hmm. and then we connected and we, we were like, you know, friendly. Um, and we kept running into each other in hot yoga, hot yoga studios. So, <laughs> yeah. but like really random studios, like that were half an hour away from where we would live. Yeah. Because when we were living in the UK, and it wasn't like hot yoga wasn't such a thing. And we'd both spent like a lot of time in like New York. And mm -hmm. so we had like a real craving for like that New York wellness scene. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we'd always run into each other and be like, oh, hey, like you're here. And then funnily enough, like one month later, we were both in New York. And then we ran into each other in another hot yoga studio but in New York. And it was just, it was so funny. It was like a serendipitous kind of experience. I love that. Yeah. Katrina and I met in a gym as well. So kind of how it all happens. And then you, okay, so you're New York. Who's from Australia? I'm from you're Australia. Australia. Yeah. Yes, that away. yeah. I'm from Australia. <laughs> That's Sarah for everybody yeah. listening. <laughs> and you're from? Originally Bulgaria. Right. Okay. My family immigrated here. So my dad randomly won the green card lottery. Wow. Yeah. In 2000. Wow. So your family's only been here for 24 years. Yeah. Yeah. But I did have a little bit of a EU moment. That's why I ended up in London. Yeah. 
I had like a lot of our, a lot of Bulgarian people go to London to study. And my sister was finishing her degree at Cambridge. Yeah. Uh, I went to her graduation and she's like, why don't you come here for a summer and just model? I was modeling full time mm -hmm. at the time. So I get an agency, like, let's hang out. Let's reconnect. We haven't seen each other. I feel like I've just been studying for the past few years. And I said, okay, great. And that's how I ended up in London for five years. Yeah. And then where's the New York connection? Where did, how did you end up there? Well, I actually, when we first moved to America, we went to, we went to New York yeah. and eventually New Jersey, but I was yeah. living just like 10 minutes from the city. Yeah. And I went to school in New York, FIT. Mm -hmm. Loved that. It was really fun. All right. And Sarah, you have a tech background? I have a tech background. Yeah. yeah. So before VitaClean, I had a tech consultancy. And so I spent a lot of time in LA and New York and like worked with like a lot of influencer marketing and um, I had like some amazing clients and it was so much fun. And that's like how Christina and I met because she was graduating and she was looking for a job. And, um, I use this content company to market a lot of my clients and she was, she's so good at content. It's like one of her amazing skills. So, um, and I was like, why don't you come and like work for them? And so she had an interview and then we started working together on quite a lot of things, like on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, we had, very different skill sets, but um, really similar mindsets. And we just, mm -hmm. you know, it was like really a really nice experience to work with each other. So we were exploring like the ideas of, you know, potentially like entrepreneurship and initially, and then like potentially starting a business together. Um, and then Christina, something happened with her lease. And so she needed a place to live. And I was like, oh, I have a spare room, like in my place, like, why don't you rent that? And then she's like, okay, so, um, so she moved in and yeah, that's how VitaClean was born because one day our shower just completely stopped working mm. and we were putting the water pressure on and like nothing came out. And so we had to, first of all, we showered at the gym for a few days, which is quite I've, a bad I've experience. Yeah. I mean, like, like your can you talk about the packing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. The packing of all our things. Uh, and, yeah. It was super annoying. You always like forget something like underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, well, number one, so Kat and I also lived together within a month of meeting each other. And um, that's where Tone It Up was born in that, that house. But uh, yeah, there was something in Manhattan Beach where like our water would go out and we'd have to go shower at Equinox, which was not terrible because yeah. they have like, oh, their I own that. shampoo. I used to, I have a membership when I was living in Manhattan. Yeah. I, I called the steam shower. I was like, I'm going to go take a steam shower. You do the steam first and then you shower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Great. They have the, yeah, the eucalyptus scent and everything. It's just, yeah. it's so awesome. Oh, it's what you Vita Clean was always brewing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I like this experience. So there's the water issue. The water issue yeah. happened. And so we had to call a plumber and he came and he attached all his equipment. So he basically pulled apart the bathtub and then put his like pipe thing and started plunging the shower and he's mm. he was like you have a sludge problem and we were like what sludge <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who don't know yeah. what sludge is it's like basically build up from if you especially if you live in a hard water area so the mm -hmm. minerals get like almost calcified and then all of the pipe rust and residue kind of collect and there it's like if your arteries are clogged exactly yeah, that's a very water. good visual yeah yeah, it was so crazy and disgusting. Yeah. Like to be, to be like, because if you think about when you shower, it's this cleansing experience. Mm -hmm. Like you're, you know, I, I'm, we, I know we all work out a lot. <laughs> like I ride horses every day, so it's like I'm always like yearning for a shower, and like you really don't want to see brown black sludge just no, going from your really. shower to your toilet yeah. and be like, yeah, cool, let's go shower in that. That's going to be a great experience. <laughs> Um, so we had a chat with the plumber and we were like, how can we make sure that this doesn't happen again and that we're showering in clean water? Um, and he said that we had to get a water filter and mm -hmm. all the water filters on the market were like these full home water filtration oh, systems. Yeah. And we lived in a rented flat that we were going to move out in probably about like three to six months. And on top of that, with our water main, we would have had to filter all different, all the apartments in, which mm -hmm. was like 12 or 14 apartments. And so from a financial standpoint, it was such a big investment and it wasn't like a long-term investment and we'd have to pay for other people to filter their water too. So. And we were like 23. <laughs> like not going to do that. <laughs> like sure, if we invest in a property, that seems logical, but yeah. not at that time. So we're like, hmm, sludge or a solution? <laughs> right, so you found the solution. Yeah. The solution. So how do you even start with that? Because there's a lot of R&D going into that. Yeah. And finding out how to source everything. I love saying like, if there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. 
Um, so funny enough, right around that time, we went on Amazon and we were, you know, just trying to figure out like what generic shower filters there were. And there was there was a few we got it. We tried like a few. I can't remember what the what they were. We we're like, okay, this is kind of working. And then we started getting more curious about water filtration. So where I'm from in Bulgaria, it's a town called Belingrad and it's the spa capital of the Balkan Peninsula. So I grew up in like springs of thermal water that's really healing for you. Mm -hmm. The whole town has like balneotherapy, which is helping with skin issues and joint issues. So water was always like such a big part of my life. But it wasn't until that moment in my life I recognized there was a difference between water. So Going into how the path and journey of VitaClean, one day we read an article that Leonardo DiCaprio had a vitamin shower. Did you did you read that article too? I had a note in here, Leo DiCaprio. Well, I didn't do vitamin C with him in early two thousands, but I used to be at the club. Yeah. <laughs> he has since cleansed himself and sure with vitamin C. <laughs> so we're like, that's really interesting. Like, what is this? And that's how we discovered that you know you could have um, vitamin C technology into, into the showers. So, I mean, you know, what does it take to build a company? And mm -hmm. again, going back to like, if there's a will, there's a way. You mm -hmm. just have to teach yourself a lot of things. I had just graduated from my degree and I specialized in product development. So I use that roadmap of my education to, you know, start looking out into like, what does it take to build a website? What does it take to mm -hmm. find a factory? Like, what does it take to buy and print molds and like do all that stuff. So it was just a lot of figuring it out on the spot. But yep. I mean, you can attest to this, right? <laughs> no, totally. And, you know, I was a model as well back oh in the day. Gosh. <laughs> Let's, we can I can talk. totally see that. <laughs> I can talk about the mental health issues with that one. Oh, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Like a separate one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still recovering PTSD. Um, but... Yeah. And I love how you all talk about your different strengths as coming together as entrepreneurs. And I think that's really important to discuss because we had to learn that for Tone It Up as well. And then realize that you got to, you got to navigate and, you know, figure out who's good at this and then let each other do the work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you have to be patient as well because yeah. people work differently. Not yeah. only do they have different skill sets, but they have different ways of working. Mm -hmm. Even when you build a team, like we have a really incredible team right now. And it took it took us some time to find the right people. But it's just so beautiful when you find the right people and you can recognize their strengths and you can put them in positions. I guess I'm talking about leadership in a way, which mm -hmm. comes with entrepreneurship because you have to build a team. And um, really recognizing that and let, and finding ways to be able to, um, you know, have that flourish and have that be sustainable. It's, it's a whole nother skill on its own, but yeah. it's a really exciting thing too. So between explore. the two of you, like what are, what would you say your skill sets are, Sarah versus Christina? I would say I, I do a lot of like long-term planning. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, think about like where we're going to be. Um, and Christina is like so amazing at managing people. She can get into that a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I um, I love it. I mean, I'm a Virgo, so very detail oriented, very organized. Um, definitely always looking for solutions across, um, you know, the supply chain or mm -hmm. marketing and advertising. I'm more on like campaign side, visuals, branding. So that's that's it's a lot, but you know that really something I gravitate to and I find that I'm successful at. So we lean into those separate things. Yeah. And, and anything to add there? I was just going like, to say, I think a big part of it as well is like problem solving and mm -hmm. problem solving together. I think mm -hmm. like having a co-founder is, it's almost like it would be, it's like a marriage, you know, mm -hmm. I would say oh, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like, well, it's even more stressful, I think, than a marriage because you have so many um, variables that hit you all the time. And especially like as like a first time founder, you have new challenges that you have to like figure out and you can figure them out in like a stressful way that's really bad for your mental health or you can figure it out in a way that's like positive and you're going to like learn things from it, come out stronger and learn how. And I think that's, for me, that's like been a big, a big journey over the course of VitaClean. I think when we first started it, like I was <laughs> a lot more like reactive, like, oh my mm -hmm. God, it's crazy. Everything's going to, you know, yeah. go down. 
And um, I think over time, one of the great lessons that you learn is like how to really like keep your cool, keep calm mm-hmm. and really handle things in a, in a good way. So I think it's, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, I get that. Um, have you ever had to go to therapy together? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not all rosy, guys. <laughs> But you know what we've discovered in that session and going back to just understanding and people work a different way and understanding how important communication is. So Mm -hmm. we were, what we got out of that was how to learn to communicate better, just being so different of like Mm -hmm. our skill sets and how we work and what we do. So it's so important, but that, that can apply to everything in life, even with like a romantic partner, even with like family and siblings. And that's been like one of my favorite things about VitaClean and just learning that it's so easy to just be like, well, I'm leaving. I'm going to get out mm-hmm. of this situation. But then that's going to follow you in every other situation. Right. So just sitting saying. down and be like, okay, we're putting our sleeves up. What do we got to do? Oh, okay. We're not great at communicating when it comes to, you know, this particular thing. And there's stress added to it. And there's a lot of things on the line. Like, how do we navigate that? How do we figure out a solution for that? Right. And you learn how your brains work differently and the different strengths and the way you communicate works differently. And I'm saying this as from a marriage standpoint, too, you know, like you said, it's, oh, so now Bobby and I are like, my brain doesn't think the way it's like, we're not understanding each other right now. I say that to my fiance all the time. I'm like, I'm not wired like that. I'm like, I love how you're wired, but just be patient with my wiring. (laughs) Exactly. Uh, just that actually really helps uh, navigate to through preventing an argument. It's just like, I'm not understanding this right now. I'm processing this. And because our brains work very differently, it's not bad at all. Mm-hmm. It's just, let's have a little patience. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So you founded in 2016, 2017? 2017. Well, 2017. Yeah, okay. yeah. In the UK. In the UK. Right. And then we launched it in... Um, in the US in 2019. When we went full time with it. Yeah. yeah. It was like July 2019. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you both had your other careers going on. Mm-hmm. How did you decide to say, I'm leaving this and I'm putting it all in to buy to clean? Well, it's, it just started growing a lot more. So yeah. we, we started it in the UK um, because, so we had skin and hair problems. Um, mm-hmm. And when we had this sludge situation, well, Christina and I, one of the things that we used to bond about, like talk about in our lunch break and, and everything was beauty products and the skin and hair problems that we were having. So for me, I had like really brassy hair and I used to get red, hot, irritated skin, especially after like the shower or washing my face, um, itchy legs, especially like after shaving. Um, and as we started playing around with different, you know, shower filtration technology and when we finally found our manufacturer, all those problems just kind of went away. And that was so, so amazing. And so we started that in the UK because we were like, the water's so bad. There's a really high Mm -hmm. lime scale problem in in the UK where the water is really hard. So that's like, it's got a really high mineral content. Mm -hmm. And it was a really slow starter there. Like we we got in all the publications like Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, everything. Um, And we learned a lot about e-commerce, but it wasn't until 2019 that we started getting all these sales from America and we we're like, whoa, like, is this a thing in America? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, so you start, did you have to raise money? Uh, no, we no. we basically just like, we did it um, off friends and family yeah. and like um, loans some, and some Loan. savings. Okay, so. Yeah, PayPal working capital as well was was like, I think <laughs> yeah. how we, we started initially in the UK. So that was, as I said, it was like a slow start. And we were like in our mid 20s and it you know, we, 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 I guess we created the company by accident. You could say, was, you know, what? VitaClean came out of having those problems. Yeah. It wasn't like, okay, I'm finishing business school and I want to venture out and I want to yeah. create a company that I'm going to exit in six years for X amount of billions or millions. It was kind of like, wow, we have such terrible issues with skin and hair. And we were the girls with the nine care skincare and nine sorry, like nine step skincare and nine step hair care routine and just using products all the time and just spending so much money and not really seeing a difference. Like I had the worst dry scalp and I had eczema and Mm -hmm. I know I have eczema sometimes, which I want to talk to you more about that. For sure. And you know, eczema is internal. It's not just Mm -hmm. external, but when you have external factors and you have sensitive skin, like it, it, it does exacerbate it. So what happened was 
we realized that the water we were showering in was making these things worse. Yeah. And that's where VitaClean was like, okay, we need to share this with people. We need to raise awareness about this because nobody was talking about shower filters. Yeah. Nobody. Well, if you're not watching on YouTube right now, you both have beautiful hair <laughs> and skin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was actually, I was like, I should really do my hair today because <laughs> they're coming over. But then I was like, yeah, I'm Mondaying on Mondays. It's like so much going on. It's like I tried. <laughs> I plugged in my iron. But but you're both glowing and your oh, hair thanks. is beautiful. So are you. Thank you. Look you. amazing. Yeah, your I'd skin's... love to learn more about your skin and hair. <laughs> I can like, see my reflection in yeah. your skin. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very big advocate of just skincare, moisture, sunscreen, all the things. Mm. Um, so let's go back and talk about eczema and psoriasis because I've heard you talk about that before. And I've always found it to be very stress related. Mm -hmm. And I know when I get flare ups, but then also I travel a lot. So when I was listening to some other podcasts you're on, you're talking about water. I'm like, oh my gosh, well, that's why when I go to a mm -hmm. hotel, I'm just like, yeah. Red and itchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. And just to for the listeners at home, so very quickly, there's soft water and hard water. And hard water has a lot of mineral content that mm -hmm. basically can dry out your skin. And mm -hmm. what happens is like just a visual, like calcifies in your skin and sucks out your sebum and your natural oils and creates like buildup. So if you're in the shower and you're trying to like get all this stuff off, but your the water is containing minerals, it's really hard to get really clean. Mm -hmm. That's why our new slogan is that clean feeling because yep. when you're water showering in soft water, it's a lot easier for your products to lather and for your products to look good. And your hair is no longer like a broomstick because it mm -hmm. has all that stuff mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. I know I get brassy too. You were mentioning that. Yeah. I, it's like, I just used to get so obsessed with my hair being brassy. I hated yeah. it so much. And I like, I used to be in the salon overtoning my hair all the time. Yeah. There's like a really funny story where, um, I got so obsessed with it. There was like this, it was like a Weller toner or something and that I would buy from Boots, which is kind of like a CVS. And I was going to a party and I just really wanted to get rid of the brassiness and the salon couldn't take me. And I accidentally grabbed the wrong bottle. <laughs> and this is actually Equinox. I went to the Equinox bathroom and I was like, oh, I'm just going to sit here in the steam room with this. And I realized it was like a yellow tone. So I'd made like the brassiness even worse. Oh, no. <laughs> Orange tiger streaks. Like, yeah, like tiger streaks took so long to get rid of it. But it's like, I found like before we had VitaClean, I just had all these like panic moments where I was like, oh, my hair's brassy or oh my God, my skin's irritated and yeah. or I'm itchy. And it just, it was like, it was almost like a confidence crusher as well. Like you just wanted to like look good and feel healthy and it, yeah. Just like the feeling healthy part. I know like with my dry scalp, it was just so bad. Yeah. And I haven't suffered from it. Wait, do you travel with VitaClean? Yeah. yeah. So are you staying at the proper... Is that, I know you're doing a meetup. There. Uh, no, we got a house. Oh, yeah. We've got, yeah, we've yeah, got like got a, team. <laughs> a team of people. Do you bring the Vitaclean? Yeah, all the time. Everywhere. Yeah. Do you yeah. leave it there? I, no. You know, like, I thought about it. <laughs> Just like leave it with this little brochure. Be like, you're welcome. <laughs> you know what? I was, uh, I thought about it, but we take it back. We take it back. So yeah. like, with, like with, with my dry scalp, for example, like, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but it used to get so itchy that I like scratch my scalp. To yeah. like scabs and it was just so oh, embarrassing dang. and like talking about like the mental health aspect of it and not even the vanity aspect of it but like when you're suffering with something like that it becomes your whole world and it just mm -hmm. everything gets like super zoomed in and you're like everyone's like probably looking at my dandruff mm -hmm. oh like my everyone's no. looking at me like scratching my, my my scalp and it's just so Had embarrassing it, like, up here on your forehead before or like if it gets on my neck it it, it, it really is affecting and no. Yeah, it's it's really like it's just so frustrating. And then you're using and buying all these expensive products and then you're showering the same water and like the results just like neutralized. Yeah. Wait, okay. I want to go back to Leonardo DiCaprio and vitamin C. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> okay, Great <let's> topic. <laughs> <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> oh, okay. So why vitamin C? Aside from the fact that it smells great. I love vitamin C oils. You can see I got my little lavenders mm. over here and everywhere around my house are essential oils. Uh so why vitamin C in the shower? So vitamin C is the best agent for neutralizing chlorine. Mm -hmm. It works so much better than any other shower filter out there. Um, you can see like if, if you've ever tried any of our competitors, 
that when you have a shower with Vitaclean compared to like a different shower filter, it leaves this amazing glow and sheen on your skin and hair. Like Christina and I, when we read that, like we were, as I said, we like shared so much information about products. And one of the things that we always used was vitamin C. So like topical vitamin C, we took it orally for like immunity Mm -hmm. as well. Um, And in our opinion, it's really the best thing that you can do for your skin and hair. And that's, you know, it's, it creates really drastic results. Yeah, it's it also a... great for brassiness. It's really, really good. Yeah, I love vitamin C serums and all so that. So good. Are you guys going to go into skincare? Yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> eventually. eventually. <laughs> we're going to stick to the shower space for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But we, we have plans and ideas. But right now, you know, just to keep things. Yeah. Actually, we are going into skincare, but in a very, very different way. <laughs> okay. Sarah told me not to talk about it. Okay. Okay. It's too early. Okay. <laughs> okay, we won't talk about it. We'll talk about it But stay air. tuned. Okay. I want to go back to entrepreneurship too, because you both live in different places Mm -hmm. and you have a team. How big is your team now? It's like 10 people. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have, we work with contractors like outside of that as well. So it's like whatever we need. Yeah. So all over the world. Yeah. Honestly, um, creating that office, I I think it's a personality thing as well. I think Mm -hmm. people love that and they can really get themselves organized and, you know, thrive in that kind of a world where they can organize their personal life around like a work schedule and still be efficient and still deliver really good results and still meet. And then some people just want a more traditional experience and thrive better in that setting. So it's really about just finding people who would do well in a remote role. Yeah. I mean, especially since 2020, yeah. we've turned completely remote. Mm-hmm. And you your know. team as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you used to work in an office before yeah. 2020? Yeah. Oh yeah. For Do you miss it? Um, you know, we've gotten so used to the way things yeah. are now that yeah. this is the new normal. And at first, you know, when you know what happened in 2020 and it's like two weeks of staying home, I was like, oh cool. You know, I'm I'm very introverted and I was like, great, I get to stay home for two weeks. <laughs> but then <laughs> I was like <laughs> but then there's like that Zoom burnout. You're like another Zoom and then that loss of human connection. Mm-hmm. But I think we've kind of worked through it now on, like, you know, communicating mm-hmm. and meeting people in Zoom and then, you know, flying and getting everyone together, mm-hmm. whether it's every quarter, every six months, whoever can get together. I, I think it, it now just works. Yeah. yeah. I think people are used to it, too. Yeah. So how often do you all see each other? We would see each other like four times a year, I, I would know. say. Yeah. yeah, quarterly, actually. Yeah. And I mean, one of the things that we love about these podcasts as well is like, it's so great to get together from a business standpoint and then also you know, meet amazing people such as yourself. And it's like, yeah. that's definitely like, well, I, I, I miss like sometimes the human connection because <laughs> like, yeah, we, sure. we used to work together like every single day. Yeah. Um, there are benefits and downsides. <laughs> Just like yeah. there are benefits and downsides to, you know, always working remotely. So, um, yeah, we love like coming together and it's awesome. Yeah, that office culture. And who knows, it might shift back there again. I mean, at one point we had like 45 employees in an office and we, we more like laughed and had fun and got as much work done. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm saying there's an element of just like deliver results and do your work. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's just my philosophy. You get what you put into it in anything in life. So you are in Col- no, you're Colorado. Colorado. Okay. Yeah. Christina's in Colorado. And you, I'm trying to... I live in the Cotswolds in the UK. So have you ever seen The Holiday? My favorite movie. Oh, really? (laughs) So that I live... No way. Yeah, my house literally looks like that. (laughs) I like live in this little village where like people ride horses to get around. It's like, it's, I was just saying, actually, it's so crazy coming here because... So I moved there at the end of January this year and I was living in the English countryside, but it wasn't like as quaint. Yeah. And it's so interesting, like living there and then you come here and everything's just like so new age. It's like, and then you go back there, it's like stepping back in time. <laughs> You're like those Netflix movies. Yeah. yeah. When like the American partner goes visits the like foreign partner. Yeah. No, the holiday is literally, I during the holiday season, I watch it at least 10 times. Oh, um, wow. And even Bobby <laughs> loves it now too. It's like time to watch the holiday. Uh, but I love that. And you ride horses. Yeah, I ride horses. That's why I live out there. So yeah. It's, it's Which so, has to be good for your mental health. Oh, it's the best. I love it. I love it so much. It's like, it's interesting because, um, so I have two horses at the moment. One's quite young, so I don't ride him so much. And the yeah. older one just got quite sick. Mm-hmm. He got a sinus infection. So he's been in and out of hospital. Um, and 
because I haven't been writing for like last two and a half weeks. And I was, it's like, it's so different. My me- I mean, I'm not saying I'm unstable right now, but definitely <laughs> like, I feel like if I ride my horse in the morning and then I just feel like I can tackle anything, like nothing yeah. seems like a challenge. Whereas yeah. like when I don't have that, it's like, I definitely like I have to meditate a lot more. Um, I've been doing like hot yoga instead. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, so it's like, I definitely have to be aware that of like supplementing that to get that feeling back, mm-hmm. that like meditative state of living in the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know, yeah, Christina has that now with Colorado with her skinning as well. She loves that. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, is there hot yoga studios in your town? Yes. Yeah, so I live, I live 22 <laughs> minutes from okay. a place called... 22. Ba- yeah, 22 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> be exact. <laughs> I live yeah. 22 minutes from a place called Bath which yeah. is like, um, yeah. And, and they have a big like, university. Too. Yeah. Bristol and Bath. And so they have like the most amazing hot yoga studio there, and which they is have thermal springs. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Which yeah. is so cool. And so I, yeah, I discovered Are you that. The hot springs? I haven't been to hot springs. No, I think you need a research trip. No, I, I've, I've, I've seen it. I've just, I've just been, I've just had time for the hot yoga. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just got there in January. When I have so. a little bit more time, I'll experience the hot springs. But, um, yeah, it's it's cool. I think a, a lot of like being an entrepreneur is finding those things, those outlets, which can really give you that like the, reset. The nature and not in the hustle and bustle of everything. Like when mm-hmm. I was in LA for 20 years, or I imagine New York and all that. So you're in Colorado now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this happened to be like a COVID thing and it just <laughs> fell in love. And yeah. Um, yeah, like it's so funny because in 2019 for Sarah's birthday, we went skiing and I cried myself down the mountain because I didn't know how to ski. And I was like, how do people enjoy this? <laughs> I'm like, who finds this fun? It's expensive. It's cold. I hurt my elbow. Like this hurts. And now I'm like, I skied 75 times this year, which is 75 days. So yeah. it's been amazing. And I found this sport called uphilling slash skinning slash alpine touring. People have different names for it. And originally, I believe it's from Norway. So Mm -hmm. what you do is you have, think of a traditional ski setup equipment, except it's 80% lighter and your bindings don't clip in the back. And -hmm. then you put these stickers that have this velvet like grip on the bottom and you climb up the mountain. And it's so challenging because you're really high out, you're in really high altitude. So it's already hard to breathe, but it's so amazing. I just... You have no idea how many times we've hung out. I've listened to so many of the podcasts, <laughs> oh. like uphill. I'm like, oh, it's my girl. I'm like, what do uh, we got today? Uh, thank you. <laughs> so it's just such a good workout for your body. It's so good mentally because you have mm-hmm. to push yourself. I love what both of you are saying here, basically as a message to other female entrepreneurs of finding your peace. Mm-hmm. And I, I would say when we started Tone It Up, we were in that hustle culture mm. of major burnout. Oh, yeah. Do you feel like you've found this good, you know, break from work versus fun? What's good for you, your mental health, your body, your Mm -hmm. friendships, romantic relationships? Do you feel like you have a good balance? I mean, yeah, but it's been so long. Like in the beginning, I remember it was just like staring at our laptops. And we we worked with Asia. So like staying up to 2 a.m. and like waking up at whatever hours. It was just so unhealthy. I think because we've always been really into taking care of our bodies and not for vanity reasons. It was just to like be healthy and feel good in our bodies. Mm -hmm. We've always carried that element through our, through, through building the company. But in the beginning, there's so much going on. It's so overwhelming because you feel really responsible and Mm -hmm. every decision is, you know, it's just like a big decision. And like Sarah said earlier, like you learn how to manage that when you, when the business grows and you get a better Mm -hmm. hang of it. But right now in this phase of my life, I for sure am definitely finding more balance because I see that I show up better for myself. Mm -hmm. I show up better for my co-founder, I show up better for my team. And if I don't have that, then I don't want to show up without being there for them in the way that I, I could be beneficial. Yeah. I think as well, like living outside of a city really helps. Like for mm-hmm. me, that was like a big change moment. And we both like moved out um, due to COVID. And um, I think like cities, as amazing as they are, they can be like super distracting. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that sometimes just like being like, as you said, like around nature and just like not really having any distractions and just like having your life mapped out. It's like, you know, this is time that I work. This is time that I spend with my partner. This mm-hmm. is time that I spend with my friends time that I exercise it's like it's it's almost like a, I, I like Groundhog Day I don't, I don't know <laughs> I don't know I think it's a lot of people like a different day all the time but um 
for me, that's something like routine and like repetition is something that really works for me. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. think that, you know, if, if we want to like network or we want to like go, you know, find different like-minded people or investors or, or something like that, it's almost like we'll plan a trip like this yeah. to do it and like basically compartmentalize that instead of like um, putting it all into our normal normal life and it messing up with our routine. So, yeah, I think anyone who lives in a city and doesn't like it or finds it expensive have a think about moving out. <laughs> well, also when you're in your early 20s, like you do have that yeah. element where I think you, you have to go through it. Yeah, correct. for sure, for sure. But no, I get it. I mean, now that you're 22 minutes, I, my Bobby is always like, we're so far from downtown. I'm like, we're like 26 minutes from downtown. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> when we lived in LA, I was 19 to 20 minutes from my office. I'm mm-hmm. like, it's it's okay. Like we're out here in nature. I think he's a little like, you know, yeah. easier to move back to. My fiance is like that too. We're actually, we're moving back to New York in October <laughs> because him and his dad are opening up a dental practice. So we're going to be spending a little time there. But it's interesting because now I'm like, okay, how do I love my life here so much? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to be really strategic. Like, I'm going to put a plan together when I'm in New York. Like, what do I want to get out of it? Like, yeah. what do I want to achieve? So it's just about thinking, thinking ahead and thinking about like, what do you want to get out of that situation? How can you like, what can you do in terms of like work or personal? Like, mm-hmm. what do you want? Like set a goal for yourself. Yeah. No, that's good. I mean, I, I go to LA to just like get work done yep. and mm-hmm. all that. Austin's a great place, as you know, yes. for mm-hmm. networking and business. Um, otherwise, we're in Palm Springs. Have you been there? Yeah, I love yeah. Palm Springs. I want to talk about the color green yes. for VitaClean. Yes. So you recently did a rebrand. Mm-hmm. You did what? last year. Yeah. What was that process? And I love that you're always wearing green. <laughs> yeah, we, we love green. <laughs> Um, it's peaceful. It's that, clean. Mm-hmm. Clean green. I sometimes call Christine. I'm like, I'm running out of green outfits. <laughs> Every time I say online, like on Instagram, and I'm like, oh, green. It's, it's kind of <laughs> hard because it's specific green. So yeah. I think like the spring collections from last year, they had a lot of this this exact Vita clean green. So it was mm-hmm. a little easier. But, you know, they don't always do the same colors uh, season after season. But the rebrand was amazing. We're so happy we did it. We worked the world-class agency. It was fantastic. It was such an incredible process. It was a deep dive into who are we at the core. It was like reading every review, having like meetings about like customer feedback, even like calling some of our customers, getting like Mm -hmm. stakeholders involved in the meetings. It was just a really thorough process, which we are so pleased with because I feel like it really reflects our vision of the brand and like where we want to take it. Yeah. And our personalities as well. I think, um, you know, we always did the branding ourselves or like with kind of random designers. And um, we always felt like the brand didn't represent us, like who we were as as people. And so it was such an interesting process of like breaking down, like, what do we stand for? Like, what do we want something to look like? And um, yeah, I mean, it, it was fun because they gave us like a few options and some were like the more generic like packaging and which was also very beautiful. Um, and then they're like, and this is the electric choice. And Christina and I, I think I would like to say that we're both electric people. We're like, so. we're no option three. <laughs> yeah. We like to stand out. So um, yeah, we, we, you know, really resonated with it. We just love it. And then um yeah, I mean it's fun. I I personally really enjoy getting enjoyed in our getting getting into our little green outfits, mm-hmm. and it helps yeah. us like really embody the ba- the brand. We it's appreciate also, that you did it too. <laughs> yeah, so thank you. Well, you know, green is the mental health yeah. color yeah. too. So as you walk through here in the green room, and all of the walls here, you know, so it's a very invigorating, brings you back to nature. Yeah, um, happy color. I love right, it. Yeah, does the like studies behind like just having like one color and people remembering your brand were on a color yeah. like there's a lot of studies on that which is like really fascinating yeah that is very so true. on a business perspective it was a great choice yeah <laughs> i get to wear green forever yeah like, forever <laughs> green green closet <laughs> closet's really growing <laughs> with the green. i think mine used to be uh coral and teal <laughs> that probably looked great on you yeah that was like 15 years ago, 15, probably 10. Why was 15. that? Like, why was that, that? Was that like your colors or was it that was your brand? what we chose for Tone It Up, Tone it up. Okay. Coral and Teal. But Amazing. then I think, you How know, was, oh, did you guys have a process of choosing it or? It just was, you know, the beach and like yeah. sunshine and just that vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
but then kind of grew out of it a little. Um, and then, I think that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, seasons change. You can change your green. Yeah. We changed <laughs> a lot of packages. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. But there are uh, experience for things yeah. to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, what are, I feel like we've kind of talked about it, but as founders, what are your wellness non-negotiables? Oh my God, my morning routine. I've like really nailed it down. So um, do you know what Open? Yes. You love Open too? Yes. Yeah. Open is an app. It's a, actually they have a content section, uh, sorry, part of the content side of the business and then a a studio in LA and it's a lot of breath work, mm-hmm. but it's breath work and meditation where it's very easy to incorporate and very easy to relate to and get excited about. So that's part of it. I want to go to an open studio. I haven't we should do it in LA. LA. I know. Next so want to buy a clean open? Yeah. There. Hey, open, want to do a collab? <laughs> <laughs> so that's been a really big part and just really centers me and they're not long. They're like five to 10 minutes. Yeah. 13 minutes. I think if you want to go longer, you can. And it teaches you all these different methods like box breathing or breathing through your left nostril. And, you know, it's like, you know, get rid of a headache, ease your digestion. It's just so fascinating. And I read the book, uh, James Nestor. Beth. That was really interesting. I haven't read that. It's Heard good. It, yeah. And there's a lot of like scientific uh, explanations of our breath and what happens. Also, I journal in the morning. Mm-hmm. Just a five minute journal really helps me start my mind like shift my mindset positively because Mm -hmm. you have to like write like what you look forward Mm -hmm. to like what you have gratitude for which is another big thing like just really having daily gratitude and just knowing that something can just be gone in a minute and just not taking it for granted Mm -hmm. and I lately I've been using an led mask which I love Mm. (laughs) the red one yeah yes so good that's great for skin too and I also started taking uh prebiotics so I took it I did a gut test Mm -hmm. just to out of curiosity to know about like my gut microbiome and now I had had prescribed uh, pre and prebiotics um, that are going to help me bring more diversity uh, into my microbiome so I've been really excited about that yeah. that those are like my non-negotiables yeah that's just the morning that. though <laughs> <laughs> and what about you uh, so definitely, I mean, like what we were talking about before, yeah. like hot yoga or horse riding, mm-hmm. something that creates that kind of really in the moment meditative state. I would say also like I get really into meditation on YouTube. So like if mm-hmm. I, whatever I'm feeling, like if I want more like abundance or if I want, you know, if I'm feeling stressed or anxious, I, I usually just like type that into YouTube and then just do like a 10, 15 minute meditation. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the things that I've recently started doing um, is I found the best lymphatic drainage goal and mm-hmm. she's just so knowledgeable. Um, she's from Brazil and she, she, she was crazy. Like she was crazy. She like massaged, like, cause I had um, my gallbladder out two years ago okay. and I've also had my appendix out, like almost exploded when I was like 13 or 14. And she was like breaking down, telling me where all the scar tissue was yeah. from these surgeries. And she's like, it's all blocked and everything. And, she, and that's like, she's just like her awareness has totally changed my life. Like she's like, you need to put castor oil on before you go to mm-hmm. sleep and then go to hot yoga the next day. And then so, yeah, I've gotten really into castor oil lately. I've actually at night as well been like putting it on my face and it's like... I've been using it too, just because like it keeps popping up. <laughs> like it's good for your brows and your face, to, like, your hair. Your hair. Yeah. 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 I don't know if it works, but you know. I think it's, I like, I think it's really good. I Like I, even in the morning, I still wake up really glowing and definitely mm. my eyelashes are, are longer, yeah. my eyebrows. Um, and I have like a, a wood tool, um from Christina and I like this Lon- this London, London cryo, cryo place. Yeah. yeah, the cryotherapy place in... Um, That's lymphatic drainage, right? Yeah. yeah and yeah. so if I get the castor oil and then I kind of put my legs up the wall and then just basically like really sculpt and drain. Mm. Um, I think, you know, your lymphatic system is so important mm. and you can feel like you can work out as much as you want and, you know, be as fit and toned as you want. Um, but if your like system is not like flushing and getting rid of your water weight, then it's mm-hmm. like you, it's never going to look like the way that you want it to look. Um, and or just feel or feel, yeah, you know that feeling of like being heavy, heavy legs, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did a lymphatic massage here in Austin like two weeks ago, and it's like, did I'm, you did you leave your your house or they came? Here? I left. I left my house. <laughs> <laughs> I do leave my house. <laughs> I would leave for five days. You have a very beautiful house. So. <laughs> what what technique did they use? It was massage, uh-huh. right? Is so, it like the two fingers where they go like? There was some tapping going on right. and some smacking and some, <laughs> I don't know. But then it, 
um, then there's that machine with the suction, mm -hmm. a little bit of that at the end. Mm -hmm. um, it's a place in Austin. I don't, you guys aren't here very long, but it's called Tox. But also I was just, I left my house yesterday too. And I <laughs> went to the street. <laughs> <laughs> I know, on a streak. Um, and uh, there's a new place called Body roll here. Yeah. Have you heard of that? There's I one in New York in yes, and LA, and they just opened in March. Okay. So if you want to do some like some I think I have a little time to move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Haven't been yet, but I'm going to go. So yeah, it's, it's like so interesting. All the techniques they have, like they have like wooden techniques. And yeah. even she said she's like, your iron's really low. So then I got my iron test and it was really low. So I've been taking like loads of iron supplements, but she's like, you have to take it with vitamin C. Otherwise your body can't absorb it. And so mm -hmm. I was taking the iron and that made me feel marginally better. And then when I started taking it with vitamin C tablets, weirdly my, I had, I, cause she, when it, before I started going to her, my circulation wasn't very good. So mm -hmm. she could tell by tapping my tummy and tapping my legs and like yeah. she wouldn't get any red, red dots, which is like what you should get. And then after taking the iron and the vitamin C, and I like would I tap those areas and the blood comes quite quickly now. So yeah. it's, yeah, it's really another reason why vitamin C is really so great. Yeah, vitamin C. <laughs> Do you put vitamin C in your shampoo and conditioner? No, we actually didn't. We have shungite though. And okay. we can talk about shungite, which is um, one of our best selling filters. Shungite is a rock um, and it's 98% carbon. So it has great detoxification properties. Mm -hmm. And um, we found, you know, this is a really funny story. So before COVID, we were in the apartment where we were living and we like grinded the shungai down into a micro powder and took a funnel and put it in our favorite shampoo. And yeah. we were like, this has to work. It was just like this weird, like genius lab moment. We were just like, this is going to be, I think this is going to work because shungai <laughs> has so many amazing properties, especially yeah. like water filtration. So we put it into our favorite shampoo and we we're using it. We were noticing how our hair color got brighter. I recently went blonde, but I've always been a brunette. But Sarah noticed like right away, like her, her hair yeah. was just like kind of at how you get brighter after using a purple shampoo. Mm -hmm. But it didn't have that like stripping effect that a purple shampoo sometimes has. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we said we got to make this into a product. And of course, with COVID, we just got restricted and like, you yeah. know, finding the labs and people, were, the schedules were so off and whatever schedules were able to uh, proceed, people were just filling in our existing clients. They weren't yeah. really taking on new ones, but we finally launched it. And we love it. It's so good. It smells like grapefruits, <gasps> I love grapefruit. red grapefruit. And it's essential. It's not synthetic synthetic fragrance I love that. It's and it's really made good. in the usa as well <laughs> yeah i mean we think it's the best shampoo we've ever tried we just absolutely love it it's like your hair has never felt more clean mm -hmm. really and okay, i think it's that's like it. why it took us so long to launch it because christina and i <laughs> we really we, we just we, we really just want to launch like the best possible products that really solve our problems yeah and so we must have done like 10 rounds of samples or like a little bit more of this a little bit more definitely like, like 20 rounds oh, it was crazy <laughs> i stopped sending you some i'm like <laughs> she's gonna be like just put it out there christina would be happy with it i'll be like but maybe just like this and just like no oh, it needs to go it needs to get out <laughs> but it's like such an amazing formula. Um, we just love it. And, you know, we consume a lot of products. So, <laughs> yeah. So where can we find Vitaclean in your shampoo, the shower head, all of it? Is it beyond, is it in stores or just DTC? Uh, so it's in, it's, you can buy it on our website. So okay. www.vitaclean.co. Um, and you can buy our, our shower heads and our shampoo from there. If you're in LA, if you want to try Vitaclean, we are in Remedy Place. So you could do a cold plunge, a sauna, and a Vitaclean. Nice. And they have them there as well. You can grab them from the shelf. I was thinking you should get into the hotel business. It's it's on, it's on the forecast. I'm like, you guys already thought about that, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> the Airbnb business, right? Yes. Oh, there's a... I'm going to tell you after this because I have to remember the name of uh, a really high-end Airbnb business that um, would be great with this. Thank you. Look at that. Uh, Just keep bringing... I have to call Bobby. <laughs> What's it called? Because it's like all custom like TVs and mat mattresses and like really nice stuff. And uh, that would be a good product. Um, all right. Well, ladies, thank you so much. We'll leave in the show notes everywhere to find you both and VitaClean and go get your VitaClean. We are going to... I'm sure Bobby already in his Bobby bathroom has this <laughs> secretly installed. We have it at our Airbnbs. Um, but thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's been for such coming. a pleasure. The big silence. The big silence.